people misuse the word vegan all the time. So I thought I would make a video to clear things up for those of you who haven't gone vegan yet. Just like that scoundrel of an ex-boyfriend who told you he was the most trustworthy person he knows, just because someone says they're vegan doesn't mean they are vegan. So first things first, let's get the official definition from the Vegan Society. These are the ladies and gents who originally coined and codified veganism back in the 1940s, so their definition is the definition. At the beginning, they defined veganism as the principle of the emancipation of animals from exploitation by man. A few years later, they elaborated on this definition, saying that vegans seek an end to the use of animals by man for food, commodities, work, hunting, vivisection, and by all other uses involving exploitation of animal life by man. The wording of today's definition of veganism can vary, but it's basically that veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as is possible and practicable all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. Notice that in each of these definitions, veganism is all about being kind and fair to animals. Now let's run through four kinds of self-described vegans, and I'll explain why these folks need to stop calling themselves vegan. Number one, humans who eat and use animal products. Here's an example. I once took a yoga class with a woman who I identified as vegan, and I was chatting with this teacher afterwards, and she eventually mentioned that she eats eggs in the winter time. If you ever knowingly consume animal products, you cannot be vegan by definition. Tyra the Taurus is one of my favorite vegans on Twitter, and she recently posted a really good thread on this subject. Tyra writes, being pescatarian, vegetarian, plant-based, and more is an awesome way to decrease your carbon footprint and leave animals alone, but it's not vegan. Once you actually go vegan, it'll feel so good to actually call yourself vegan and claim that truthfully. Don't claim the prize before you do the work. People are already confused on what it means to be vegan. Please don't make it worse by claiming to be vegan when you're still eating animals. It makes others think they can feed vegans animals. So, vegan means zero animal products, or as close to zero as is humanly possible. Number two, humans who don't eat animal products solely for health reasons. <coughs> If you don't eat animal products out of a concern for environmental sustainability, but you're not really concerned about animal cruelty all that much, then you're on a plant-based diet. If you don't eat animal products because they're bad for your health, but you're not that concerned about animal cruelty, then you are on a plant-based diet. You could call yourself a dietary vegan, but you're co-opting a phrase that doesn't really apply to you. By the vegan society definition, if you are not primarily for the rights and the dignity of animals, then you cannot call yourself a vegan. Number three, humans who oppress other humans. If you are a white supremacist, a racist of any description, if you are a Holocaust denier, if you think it's okay to separate children from their parents and keep them in cages, if you think that anyone who doesn't look or sound exactly like you do is inferior to you in any way, then I don't care what you call yourself, you're not vegan. Side note here, people sometimes argue that Hitler was a vegetarian, but that is absolute nonsense. Why would you believe what Hitler said about anything, let alone his diet? He lied, like he lied about everything else. Hitler ate animals. He liked to tell people that he was vegetarian, but he wasn't. Stop using the worst human who ever lived as an excuse to continue hurting animals. Four, humans who stop eating animal products only to return to eating and wearing animals later on. If you used to be vegan, then you were never vegan. You don't care and then somehow stop caring. That's not how compassion works. So some of us are actually vegan and some of us are only self-described vegan in air quotes. So when we talk about veganism, let's keep in mind the 
actual definition, which is all about the rights and the dignity of animals. So from one human animal to another, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.